Hello friends, I am here, and guess what, I'm getting, I'm getting a haircut, because my hair is way too long, it's like covering my ears at this point, it's way too long. Um, yeah, I'm very, very excited, very, very nervous, it's going to be my first time going to like a real barber shop, and I am excited, but nervous, but the cut I want is really, really cool, and I'm very excited, and I hope, um, it happens right, I don't know. Okay, I'll show you guys when I'm all done, okay, bye. Hello, so I'm now home from the barbers and I'm very excited about my new haircut. Here, wait, I'm on, I'm like literally already is on the floor and propping you up on my windowsill. But look, it do be, it do be fresh. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, you know? <laughs> I'm having a good time. Okay, thanks for coming along with me, guys. I like it. I like it a lot. Really cheap, too. I mean, like, these haircuts are so much cheaper than, like, girls' haircuts. Like, oh my gosh. Like, at least, like, $10 cheaper. And that's, like, on the expensive side, too. I don't know. Okay, thank you. I love it. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, bye-bye. Hi everyone! So I don't know if you can tell that the lighting in here is different. I mean, number one, it's dark in my kitchen, but that is because I am using a ring light. I don't actually know if the lighting would be better. I don't know. Does that make a difference? I don't know if that makes a difference. But um, Tracy, my mom, actually managed to find a fairly nice but still fairly cheap ring light that comes with a little phone holder and everything. So we're going to try it out for this entire weekly vlog. We're going to see how it goes. Um, this thing is pretty big and bulky, so I'm not going to be taking it out with me anywhere because if I carry this thing around I'll I'll be sure to show you what the actual ring light looks like but I think if I carry this thing around I might actually look like I'm crazy so I'll only be using it for stuff that I'm filming here around um, my place if I go out I'm just gonna be using natural light I mean it is what it is right um but today I'm actually going to be making a recipe that I've never made before okay well I've kind of made it before. So I don't know if you can tell, I am making Rice Krispies today, but I am using protein powder, which I have never, ooh, hello, that was bright. But I've never used protein powder in them before. And uh, I also don't know if you could tell, but um, I am using Rice Krispies that are actually Christmas Rice Krispies because they are still sitting in my pantry and I had to use them. And I also have like a giant thing of plain, uh, whey powder, and I'm not as big a fan as the plain whey powder because I don't usually drink whey powder as shakes. So I'm always trying to find new ways to use the plain whey powder just because it's not my favorite. So I'm just gonna toss them into the Rice Krispies, see how that goes. Um, I would film myself doing it, but I really don't think it's gonna be that interesting. I mean, essentially it's your typical melt butter, melt marshmallows, I forgot what they were called for a second. Um, in this case, mix in protein powder mix in rice bubbles slash rice krispies whatever you call them put in pan cool and then eat so i don't think that's gonna necessarily be interesting unless you guys want a bunch of shots of me just like stirring melted marshmallows which i mean maybe you do maybe you do let us know if that's what you want because i would be more than happy to just film myself stirring melted marshmallows that would be fun but um i'm probably not gonna bother filming it but i will show you when it's done and i'll let you know how they turn out as i said i've never tried mixing in whey powder so maybe plain whey powder is best. Maybe a flavored whey powder would be better. I don't know. I'm just using plain whey powder today. So I'm going to get to making these so that I can get them cooling. And uh, as I said over the week, I'm just going to be trying out this ring light. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Well, that was an adventure. Um, I don't know if the recipe is a little bit jank. I finally got it all into the pan, but uh, what you guys ended up missing was me stirring in the protein powder and the entire marshmallow mixture immediately seizing. Like, immediately, I am. Oh, this pot. Look, look what happened to my pot. Do you have any idea how, like the pot's still kind of warm. Do you have any idea how long this is gonna take to clean? Like, it is stuck on there. Like, this is the strangest texture, look at it. I'm guessing it's the protein powder. I don't know. I ended up having to add a couple more marshmallows that I just popped in the microwave and then tried to stir in as well. As I said, I finally got it all in the pan. And I mean, it doesn't look half bad, but let me tell you, it was a fight to do it. And I don't know if you can see like 
The texture is a little bit jank as well. I don't know. I think it's just the protein powder. Like the second it hit the marshmallow mixture, the whole thing was just like, <laughs> no. So I'm hoping that they'll still taste good. I think they'll be fine. I think texture looks like it's gonna be a little bit gritty, but whatever, that's no big deal. As I said, I think either adding more marshmallows earlier would have helped or it could just be the reaction of the protein powder. I don't know, never done it before. So I'm gonna let them cool and uh, we'll see how they are later. So I have a little bit of big news. So um, a couple of times a year, there's like movies filming in our city and they do calls for extras, like background actors. And um, so I put in my stuff and I haven't done one since like, look at my hair, it's fresh still. Um, I haven't done one since like October, not the year before last year, like October might have been 2019. Yeah, after I graduated, sounds about right. But, um, and I still had like my long hair and stuff back then when I did my first one. But I got selected for one now and they're doing um, COVID safe. So today I got to get COVID tested. Thankfully, it's the first time I've had to get COVID tested within the last year. So yeah, I'm... Not as nervous as I thought I would be for it because I don't have any symptoms or anything, so shouldn't be positive, I guess. But um, yeah, it's just to make sure that everyone's okay because we'll probably have to have our masks off for filming and stuff like that. But yeah, they put a call out specifically for LGBT um, extras, so I guess I looked gay enough. So <laughs> um, yeah, I get to do um, a nice long shift tomorrow, but yeah. I'm excited. Okay, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Bye. Hello, hello. So even though I'm wearing the same sweater, I promise it, promise it is the next day. Um, so went to go get my COVID test for the background work, and it went pretty okay. My experience wasn't that bad. I mean, she told me, uh, the person taking the test told me, you know, it's going to hurt more if you're tense. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take some deep breaths. So I relaxed a little bit, she stuck it in my nose, held it there, twisted it, it was all good. I didn't die, it was fine. Um, I am supposedly COVID free though, because I didn't get a call from them. But yeah, I got my call time tonight, they said late afternoon, but it's actually 9pm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 9pm, the estimated wrap time is 6am, and then go to work for 7. So yeah, that's gonna be a ride. But it's okay, because I get to sleep all um all of tomorrow anyways. <laughs> so after work, when I get home in the morning, I can just sleep all day if I want. But yeah, I'm excited. Have most of my outfits picked out. Just gonna have to um, iron a few of them, and then I am good to go. Alright guys, I'll let you know how it goes. Probably once I'm back home at night. Or maybe I'm just gonna like die and sleep. Who knows? I don't know yet. I'll let you know when I let you know. And Templeton wants to say hi. Can you say hi, Templeton? Oh. He said hello. He likes me. He likes to, like, bug me all the time. I don't know why cats like to do this so much. Just sniff. Just sniff. Okay. I think I've got it working this time. This is, like, the third or fourth time that I've tried to do this. But uh, we're just going to roll with it and hope that it goes well. So, as you can tell, I am still using the ring light. I think I like it, but the only problem I'm having with it is that the ring light stand is only about this tall. So it is causing some problems when it comes to like angling it. I think I've just got to figure it out because um, I've tried to record this a couple other times and the trouble is that my desk sits too low. So basically you end up looking at my tatas instead of my face here. So now you guys are sitting on my desk on top of a book, on top of a gift box, so that it raises the level up enough to see my face. But we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna roll with it and let that be that. Um, so, as you guys can tell, I am just about to go outside for a run, even though today is absolutely miserable. It was snowing last night and raining at the same time and it's like absolutely disgusting. But I'm still gonna go. Exercise is healthy children. But before I went, I was going to try those Rice Krispie treats that I made with the protein powder. Y'all gonna get a kick out of this one. So, look, they don't actually look too bad. I even covered them in chocolate. So they look fine, look very good. Boost of protein before you go running, excellent.
yeah so that's a thing um I know I said before that the protein powder kind of caused like the marshmallow mixture to like seize a bit I didn't think it was gonna be this bad once it cooled down and obviously I store them in an airtight container so it's not that they've dried out or anything this is just literally the texture of them now that they've kind of firmed up and I mean at this point I'm pretty sure Yeah, I think I might break it too, so if I try to eat that. I mean, the taste isn't bad, but I don't think they're supposed to be crunchy like that. Um, it kind of sucks. I was really hoping that this recipe would work out, but um, I was basing this recipe off of these. These are the protein bars that I really, really like. Oh look, you can see my ring light. Fancy. These are the ones that I really, really like, and honestly, the texture on these ones is better, the flavor is better, I'm pretty sure the protein content and everything is a lot better, so I think I'm gonna give up on this endeavor, probably toss these ones, because they're not very good, if I'm honest, so I'm probably gonna pitch those, unfortunately. I'm just gonna stick to the store-bought ones, because I may be able to make a lot of things. You know, I can make bread. I can make bagels, I can make stews and cookies and everything else. I don't I don't think there's gonna be a way for me to fix this to the point that it's like good. I think they will forever just kind of be a crappy knockoff of these ones. And even though these are a lot more processed and not homemade, I mean, I don't think you can call those rocks edible. So those are going out. I'm gonna end up having one of these. I'm gonna head out for a run and then uh, I wanted to show off my medals but I'm probably gonna do that when I get back because I wanna go before it starts getting dark because the weather was all, already like really, really bad as I mentioned before. And this girl does not need to fall on any more ice. So I'm gonna go before it's too late for me to see anything while I'm running. And then I'm gonna come back, shower, all that jazz and then uh, I'd, I'd like to show off my medals because I got a couple of new ones and I think you guys are really gonna like the designs on the new ones that I got so see you in a bit okay so back from my run as you can tell I am showered I am not as disgustingly sweaty as I was before so medals have quite a few I've got like a couple of them stacked up over here that I need to uh, show off let's see let's just grab a random one out of the pile as I drop things oops Okay, so this is one of the more recent ones I got. This is my Zeus medal. Uh, this one is 18.9 miles. I love the detail on this one, if I'm honest. Like, look, that's so pretty. So that's the first one. Next one I've got is the Inca Trail medal. This one here. This one is 26.2 miles. I do like this one quite a bit as well. I like the fact that the shapes on the outside are actually see-through. I don't know if you can tell, but all of these shapes kind of on this outside here, they're actually like punched through. And even the back of this metal is really, really nice. How nice is that? So there's that one. I know, I have a couple. I know, I know. Uh, next one, I've got my Athena medal. Uh, do I even know how long this one was? What's it say? Can't even see it. Oh my god. I'm good at what I do, <laughs> you know? What does that even say? Oh, 24.9 miles. I can read. I swear. So, this is the Athena medal. And it dawns on me that it says it right there and I didn't need to read the small part on the actual metal. I'm smart. Hmm. But this is what it looks like. Kind of hard to get this one. This one's super tall so it's hard to get it all in the shot. So as you can see I was reading the tiny badge right here instead of just reading the uh, strap like an idiot. And then is my Hades medal. This one, I'm gonna be smart and read the strap, is 36.1 miles. This is probably my favorite. 
I love this metal. So nice. Even the strap is really nice and I actually have that teeth. And then it dawns on me that I've already showed you this one. Mmm, we're doing a good job today. Can't blame me, I just got back from a run. Okay, I was excited to show off my medals. I was excited. Um, so yeah, and then I've got another one on the way. And then I'm currently doing two others right now. I'm doing a Poseidon challenge right now, and I'm doing, I finished my Giza pyramid challenge. That's the medal that I'm waiting for. So, oh, the other one I'm doing right now is St. Francis Way, which is like 503 miles or something like that. So that one's gonna take me quite a while to finish. And then of course I'm doing my Conqueror's 2021 challenge and I'm doing just over, I talked about this in a previous video, I'm doing just over like a thousand kilometers for that one. Kilometers? Miles? Miles? I don't even remember what I'm doing anymore. Oh boy, we're having a good night here. But yeah, these are the medals that I've got currently. Um, I do have a medals rack that I'm going to be putting up at some point, but I don't know if you've noticed, my apartment is kind of tiny and I'm not really sure where I'm gonna be putting it still, that the weight of the medals isn't just going to pull it down. Like I need to be able to stick this thing on a very flat surface with basically nothing underneath it because these metals are pretty heavy and uh, I'm starting to rack them up pretty quickly. So I'm worried about the whole thing just like coming down and like smashing stuff underneath it. At, like if there's something underneath it. So I don't want to put it over any of like my tables or anything. And I would put it by the door. But I'm worried about like smacking it with the door and then like knocking it off the wall. So I've got to get that sorted first but those are the medals I have currently. As I said, I've got another one on the way and I'm working technically towards three others right now. So, progress, very happy. Hello friends, it is the next day. I am dead, I am tired. I, uh, call time was 9 p.m. Worked for the background until 6.30 a.m. Rushed to work for 7 a.m to 10 30 and now i think i am going to shower and get all these clothes that i've been wearing for far too long and um go to bed at the prime time of 11 a.m i mean i'm just kidding that was real fun we got to dance and stuff and party and do all that sort of thing my animals are going wild um, was a little bit of zombie for work, but that's okay. Zombies can clean things too. Um, had a monster while I was at the background. Very good. Very good. Helped a lot. Helped a lot. Um, but yeah, it was fun. Got to meet a bunch of people, talk to a bunch of people, work background. It was good. And, uh, yeah. If you ever get the opportunity to try background work, I would sure suggest it because it's fun. There wasn't a lot of waiting at this one. I got to be in a lot of scenes. And I think we, we did like two episodes where the extras doubled over. And it was it was fun. It was long, but the time went by really fast because we were always filming. Um, but yeah, now I'm back at home finally and I need to take these contacts out because they've been in my eyes way too long. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day. Bye.